Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Cancer, what's going on? Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Cups. Uh, trying to stay open in a particular situation. Uh, Open-hearted, basically. We'll see what that is about. In the recent past, the Justice card, the Temperance card, the Page of Swords. I kind of see you really trying your best to stay out of the way in terms of letting things fall into their place, you know? Uh, I do see a little bit of interference here and there, kind of like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take care of this one, though. You know, there's a little bit of that going on, but overall, there's the energy of, you know, if you just kind of allow for things to, to fall where they need to fall, they will. So it's like a little bit of that going on here. Um, in the current situation, the Judgment card, the King of Swords, the Nine of Cups, really going through something quite transformative here. And coming out at the end of it in a place of emotional balance. So you're finding yourself in that place of, ha. Huh, uh and i get the sense with the king of swords that you know that you know what's going on you know you're you're aware of it um in the immediate future the two of wands the page of wands the two of cups waiting for you and another energy to possibly come together in love there's um there's you being open to it there's you being curious about it you know kind of like again a little bit falls back into that energy of allowing it to happen even though this time around yeah there's a little more you know like i gotta give you know at least energetically i gotta give to the situation in order for it to happen because the energies need to meet halfway so quite nice let's see let's clarify let me see the page of cups Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. Hmm. It's it's a process. I, I see you in the middle of this process of almost like it seems like you're forcing yourself to stay in that place of let me stay out of it let's see what happens if i stay out of it you know um it's a hard one hard to to you know because there's a whole lot of passion there's a whole lot of things you're feeling so it's like uh, kind of hard to contain that but at the same time i kind of get the, the the sense that you already got what that does you know allowing what it does and how things do eventually fall into place if we let them um so based on that experience there i see you really trying to do that with a particular situation you're dealing with which could be more personal more close to home and it's more difficult you know when it's when there's more involvement on your side um but you're doing it you're doing it let's see we What's going on here? Easy. Let's see the ju justice card in the recent past. Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, could be tied up to. It, it's like an experiment to you. You know, almost like you know what? Let's try. Let's try and see if it works out. Let's try to not interfere in something, and let's see if it's gonna turn out for the best, you know? Um, and it could be that you started experimenting this possibly with something tied up to work, you know, possibly, because I, I see you wanting for a situation to um, balance out and really having to trust that it will, you know, really having to dig quite deep into yourself 
into that place of trusting that it will. Um, I don't know if it did or not, you know, um, I suspect that it did according to how the cards showed up, but, um, man, that's a whole lot of trust and it's like, yeah, you know, I tried it out and it worked, you know, it kind of feels like that. Uh, let's do the temperance card. The chariot, the death card and the strength card. That's the thing with this kind of an energy, because if you do allow for things to happen, some things will feel like, oh my God, it's, it feels so good, it feels so... Others will come to an end. You know, there's things that we might be kind of slow in removing from our lives, even though they're done, they're expired. They're like, okay, out the window, they have to go. Uh, but we're like, you know, that. I don't want to do it right now. I'll do it later. I know it has to go, but uh, can it stay for a little while longer? So again, if you fall into that place of allowing for things to fall in their place, things like that are going to happen also, where things are going to be removed, you know, from your life. And I kind of get the sense that that, that happened also. So there's that alternative where, oh, this turned out quite nice. And then there's the alternative, oh, oh shit, there it went, you know? Kind of a tricky energy there, because at the same time, something's gonna be removed from your life where in the moment you may not even realize that it's not meant for you anymore. And you're like, oh, oh, this sucks. What, what's happening? What, what's going on, you know? Uh, I get the sense that you didn't do this consciously, though, a lot of it, you know, allowing for things to fall into place. You didn't woke, wake up one day and you were like, okay, let's, let's start this. Let's. Some of you may have, but overall, it's an energy that comes from you from a place of where I don't see you conscious about it, to be honest about it, or, or, to be honest to you. Um, let's do the Page of Swords. Page of Swords? Yeah, let's do the Page of Swords in the recent past. The Justice card, the Four of Swords, the Hierophant. Yeah, lots of healing. And when healing happens, especially um, to that extent, you kind of take a step back within yourself. And that's when you do allow for things to happen without even knowing that you're doing. Because you're concerned about, let me let me figure out what's going on here. Everything is here. I, I don't care what's happening in there. It's not that you don't care, but you're really focused on what's going on here. And then things outside of yourself, as you're going through a lot of healing and things are starting to settle down within yourself, they're going to start to reflect outside of yourself. So it's like as within, so without, poof, it happened for you. Oh, that's a lot of healing there you've gone through. Let's do the judgment card in the current situation. The world card, the seven of wands, the three of pentacles. Interesting. There's a cycle coming to an end attached to a relationship you have. Could be a friendship. I don't know what it is. Uh, it doesn't have to be that the friendship is coming to an end or whatever this situation is to you. Um, but it's something. It's something that's shifting within this dynamic. And there's a little bit of resistance tied up to that. Kind of like, eh, I feel it. I don't necessarily like it. But I kind of get the sense that it's tied up to this sense of things have to be removed uh, from your life. And again, I don't know if the connection itself is going to be removed, but there's definitely something s switching, shifting into a better place, into, you know, whatever was or is in this dynamic that's not healthy for this dynamic or for you is going to be removed. Um to the king of swords in the current situation knight of wands seven of cups seven of swords oof and it comes with the sense of opening you up towards something new better options better choices you don't like that you're like yeah no i don't want it you know i have my option here my choice here i don't want this e e and you know about this energy of you being open towards something new. But you have the tendency to turn your back to it though. You know? Let's do the Nine of Cups. In the current situation, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so emotional balance there's that you know that that energy that comes from inside of you where you feel everything's fine everything's perfect i'm happy inside there's a little bit of um attributing happiness to the material you know that's going on here and it's coming in as a deceptive kind of an energy because it's like you're telling me that what's on the outside is making you happy inside. And it's usually the other way around. You know, it's usually where happiness starts inside and it reflects outside. So kind of like if you owned a million dollar yacht, then you would be like, yeah, I'm happy. That makes me happy. Oh, I'm so happy inside. It's not even funny. And no, it's not because it's not there. It's a lie. You know, so it's like, yeah, there's a little bit of something tied up to this energy here. Uh, so watch for this energy where you may, again, attribute happiness to material things. Um, where it's not that. The Nine of Cups is not that, you know. Not in this case, at least. It's, it's shown up with the Five of Swords. So let's do the Two of Wands. in the immediate future. The Temperance card, the Magician, the Judgment card. Oy, 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 oy. Oy. There's a there's a little bit of a pause here for you. And I don't feel like it's something that you're doing willingly. I feel like it's happening because it's happening. It's part of your process. In this pause, you're manifesting, you're transforming, you're changing for the better. You're growing a lot. As if you didn't grow a lot in the past there, but you're growing even more. So there's there's like a, a time gap here that's showing up, which you're not necessarily going to feel as, oh my God, you know, nothing's happening, nothing. Like I'm bored, I'm bored. You're not even going to be aware of how much growth there is in that time gap because you're not going to take it necessarily as... You know, my life is on hold or anything like that. It, it, it just comes in to explain me what's going on in the background there, to explain to me, to make me see. Uh, to you, it may feel like, you know, a passage of time where, mm, yeah, I mean, nothing's changing necessarily that you can see, that you can, but there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes there. Um, let's do the Page of Wands. Six of Cups, King of Swords, Three of Swords. Oof, there's a soul connection that shows up. Uh, which kind of makes you curious, makes you interested, makes you, hmm. Hmm. But then you come over it with a sense of, yeah, it'll end in heartbreak though. Uh, now, I know you're knowledgeable. You've shown me that two, twi two times. Um but you're not that knowledgeable. That's actually a fear. You know, it's you, you can't predict what this is going to do. I mean, you can if you say it out loud and if you truly believe it, then you're going to manifest it. So that's how we predict because we create. Um, but you can't. Yeah, I mean, you can because you're telling me, but you can't. <laughs> Uh, as this shows up and it sparks an interest there and you look at it and you're like, huh, um, you can't tell me there and then this is going to end bad because you don't know that your fear does and your fear is creating that scenario. Thus, this is going to end bad if you hang on to that fear. That's not your knowledge. That's your fear, you know, um, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, do show up in the, uh, oh, I know, I know. No, you don't know, you fear. That would be the better translation of that. You know, let's do the Two of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit. Okay, oh man, there's, you keep on going back to healing. It's like whenever something new shows up, it's like, oh, okay, let, let, let's go for it, it's fine. And then you're like, um, 
then you're like, oh, I need a little more time. I need a, there, there's a whole lot of healing around you. Um, in the past, currently, and especially in the future here, there's a whole lot going on. And it's good. It's actually very helpful. If you need that time for yourself, take it as much as you want. Because it is, you are showing up in the energy of interested in other energies that are playing, playing around you. You know, you want to play with those energies too. Uh, but during that, you don't get caught up in the play, you get back into, I'm putting myself first and I need some time. So do that. I mean, it's a good energy. It's not bad. Uh, don't use it as, as an excuse to pull away from things that um, might bring something good because you do have this fear attached to you here. So that's a little bit of, huh, you know, do you really need time for yourself or are, are you actually running from something that has the potential to bring something nice here? Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Yeah, baby boy. What's going on? Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you are heading in the direction of love, basically. You're doing a great job with healing. There's a whole lot of that going on. But as you do that, you're actually heading in the direction of love. Um, when that comes in for you, just, you know, instead of just saying, oh, I know it's going to end up like this, like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just try to identify the fears that are coming through because there's some fears in there. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.